Hey guys, Josh Meinhardt here, sales director with Sonum. Just want to chat with you today about your XP5S and your Klein Curl headset. A couple tips and tricks wanted to share with you guys today. So when you get ready to use these for your shift, you'll be good to go. Uh, first couple things you want to check for uh, when you pick your device up. First of all, make sure it's powered on. Uh, then you want to make sure that the headset is connected correctly. So you want to make sure that this piece, that the cable is facing up and that the screw is locked down tightly to make sure that there's a good connection here. And then also you want to make sure that the headset isn't bound up or wound up or anything, kind of like mine's caught right here. Good example, make sure that you get it nice and free, so that way it's not going to tear or catch on anything. Um, so it is reversible. You can put it on either, either ear. It's up to you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put mine on this ear for now. Uh, and then one of the things that you guys, or two things you guys probably want to check for is on the device itself, uh, up here in the top right hand corner, I know it's a little fuzzy on my camera, but there's going to be a little box with a check mark next to uh, the signal or next to the AT&T logo. Um, that's going to let you know that you're connected to push to talk and that you're going to be good to go. Uh, the second thing you might want to do is just make sure that the volume is turned up on the device as well to make sure that you're going to be able to hear all your calls. Um, to place the call, guys, uh, if you guys are utilizing one touch, which just simply means that the device is set up that when you press and hold the push to talk button, it's going to make a call to a, an open channel. Uh, if you guys are using that, then basically the first time that you hit the button, uh, I've got a, a nice second device here we're going to use for demonstration purposes. But make sure that when you hit that button, you press and hold it until you hear the channel and then you can pause. And you want to continue holding that button just like you would on a walkie talkie because if you do this press it and then let it go you guys can see that it doesn't go through so make sure that you press and hold and then you can get the call through and i'm getting a little bit of echo because we're right near each other um if you uh need to make a one-to-one -one call it's going to be very similar uh you're just going to hit the top center key on the keypad and then you're going to go into the push to talk application uh, when you're in the push to talk application, you should have a list of contacts. It'll look something similar to this. All you do is go down, find the person you want to talk to, and then use the center key to check that person. When that person is checked, you just do the same thing as you did on the one touch call. You press and hold that button. When you hear the channel uh, beep open, you're going to continue to hold that button speak your message when you're done release it and then you can have that private conversation um a caveat though is if you are utilizing one touch for your day most of your daily communications um when you are done with that one-to-one -one call it is going to go revert back to one touch so the next time you pick this up it is going to open the channel to the group that you're supposed to be calling so hope those couple of tips and trips help you guys uh and have a good day thank you for watching for more resources visit sonumtech.com